Welcome to Mathematics class, straight line, part eleven. So in today's class, let us learn the angle between two lines. A one x plus B one y plus C one is equal to zero, and A two x plus B two y plus C two is equal to zero. Is cos inverse modulus A one A two plus B one B two by under root A one square plus B one square into A two square plus B two square. This is the formula to find angle between two straight lines when two straight lines are given. so this is the formula to find the angle between the lines the lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 are perpendicular if and only if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is equal to 0 so this is the condition that the given lines to be perpendicular to each other ichina rendu rekalu lamba rekalu kavadaniki idi niyamam a1 a2 plus b1 b2 zero aithe aa rendu rekalu lamba rekalu avtayi so this is the condition for perpendicular lines a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is equal to zero then the lines are perpendicular Equation of a line parallel to the line a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero is of the form a x plus b y is equal to k. ये देना आओ का समीकरणम सरलरे का समीकरणम a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero इच्छना पड़ो आ सरलरे का को समांतरंगा उन्ने ये देना आओ का रे का a x plus b y is equal to k roopamlo untundi any line which is parallel to the given straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to zero is of the form ax plus by is equal to k and that of line perpendicular to the above line is bx minus ay is equal to k सो एना और लाइन इच्छा दाखिल पारल लाइन पर्पंडक्युर् लाइन मन रूप में तीस कौन सो इफ ए लाइन इज गिवेन दारल लाइन इज एक्सप्रेस बी वाइज इक्वल टू के अंड द पर्पंडक्युर् लाइन ईज द फॉर्म बी एक्स मैनस एज ईक्वल टू के The angle between two non-vertical, non-perpendicular lines with the slopes m1 and m2 is tan inverse m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So when the slopes are known for the two non-perpendicular lines, so this is the formula to find the angle between them. if slopes are known so we can find by using this uh, formula we can find the angle by using this the next one the length of the perpendicular from x 0 y 0 to the straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is ax not plus by not plus c by under root a square plus b square so this is the formula to find perpendicular distance or perpendicular length from a given point to a line oka bindu nundi oka reka ku lamba dooraniki idi sutra the distance between the parallel lines ax plus by plus c1 ax plus by plus c2 then the distance between these par parallel lines mod c1 minus c2 by under root a square plus b square so based on this this formula 
let us solve some problems from the exercise 3d in the text textbook exercise 3d roman number 1 first bit find the angle between the following straight lines find find the angle between the straight lines y is equal to 4 minus 2x y is equal to 3x plus 7 so two lines are given we have to find the slope we have to find the angle between these two lines now the solution now let us take the two lines so y is equal to 4 minus 2x so converting this equation in standard form So y minus four plus two x is equal to zero, and this can be written in standard form: x term, y term, and the constant. So let us name it as first equation. So comparing this equation with the the given a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 here a1 is equal to 2 b1 is equal to 1 and c1 is equal to minus 4 so this is now let us take the second equation y minus 4 plus uh, second equation y is equal to 3x plus 7 y is equal to 3x plus 7 so converting this into standard form 3x y becomes minus 5 plus 7 is equal to 0 let us name it as 2 comparing this with the general equation
a to x b to y plus 7 is equal to 0 here a2 is 3 b2 is minus 1 c2 is 7 now the angle between the two lines if the angle is theta then the angle between the lines is theta and it will be equal to cos inverse mod a1 a2 plus b1 b2 by under root a1 square plus b1 square into a2 square plus b2 square so this is the formula for angle between two lines substituting the values a1 a2 a1 is 2 a2 is 3 2 so this will be cos inverse mod 2 into 3 a1 a2 plus b1 b2 b1 is 1 b2 is minus 1 1 into minus 1 divided by under root a1 square plus b1 square 2 square plus 1 square 2 square plus 1 square into a2 square plus b2 square a2 square plus b2 square 3 square minus 1 square 3 square plus minus 1 square. Simplifying 2 into 3, 6, 1 into minus 1, minus 1, divided by 2 square 4 plus 1, 5. 3 square 9, 1 square 1, 9 plus 1, 10. So that will be 6 minus 1, 5 by 5 root 5, root 10. So root 5 can be written as, so this is cos inverse, so the angle cos inverse, so in numerator 5 can be written as 5 into root 5 into root 5. So I am writing 5 as root 5 into root 5. So the denominator is same root 5 into root 10. So root 5 getting cancelled. So this can be written as root y by 10. So again cancelling by one time and get two times. So that will be root 1 by 2 
तो कॉस इनवर्स रूट वन इज वन ओनली वन बाय रूट टू सिंस कॉस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज इज इक्वल टू वन बाय रूट टू कॉस फोर्टी फाइव इज वन बाय रूट टू इन फॉर द एंगल इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज एंगल इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज और दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई फोर रेडियंस सो दिस इज हाउ वी फाइंड एंगल बिटवीन टू लाइन्स when the lines are given in standard form a1x plus b1y plus c1 a2x plus b2y plus c2 and comparing the given equations with this standard form let us uh, uh, note down a1 b1 a2 b2 and using this formula substituting the values we get uh, the required angle the next one the third question find the angle between find the angle between the straight lines y is equal to minus root 3x and y is equal to 1 by root 3x minus 2 by root 3 now the given lines are the given lines are in the form of y is equal to mx plus c the given lines are in the form of y is equal to mx plus c now the given lines or y is equal to minus root 3x and y is equal to 1 by root 3x minus 2 by root 3 so comparing this with y is equal to mx the slope m1 is equal to minus root 3 and comparing the second equation with y is equal to mx plus c it is in this form and the slope of the second equation let it be m2 let the slope of the first equation as m1 and the slope of the second equation as m2 that is the coefficient of x 1 by root 3 so here m1 m2 is equal to the product of slopes is minus 1 root 3 will get cancel and this is minus 1 so when the product of slopes is minus 1 then the angle is 90 degrees so this implies the angle 
angle is angle is 90 degrees or 5 by 2 that is the lines are perpendicular m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 then lines are perpendicular this is the condition if the product of the slopes is minus 1 then the lines are perpendicular now let us take up one more fifth question find the length of the perpendicular drawn from the point given against the following straight lines find the length length of the perpendicular drawn from the point given against the following straight lines from minus 2 minus 3 to the straight line five x minus two y plus four is equal to zero perpendicular distance from a point to a line now this is a line and there is a point we have to find the perpendicular distance pm so if the point is x1 y1 and the line ax plus by plus c then the perpendicular distance the d is equal to ax1 plus b y1 plus c by under root a square plus b square so this is the formula to find perpendicular distance from a given point to a given line here the point is minus 2 minus 3 and the equation 5x minus 2y plus 4. Now the distance ax1 here 5 substitute the point in place of x x1 is minus 2. So 5 into minus 2 plus minus 2 minus 2 in place of y minus 3. So this is b y1 minus 2 into minus 3 plus c, c value is 4. So not, this is nothing but ax1 plus by1 plus c is substituting the point x1, y1 in the equation. So here substituting the point minus 2 minus 3 in the given equation that is 5 into minus 2 minus 2 into minus 3 plus 4 x value minus 2 y value minus 3 by under root here a value is 2 a value is 5 b value is minus 2 so a square is 5 square plus b square b value is minus 2 minus 2 square 
So here, comparing this with the AX plus BY, A value is 5 and B value Y coefficient is minus 2. Now simplifying this, distance is always uh, positive. Five into minus two more minus ten minus two into minus three plus six plus four divided by five square twenty five two square is four so that is equal to minus ten plus ten. divided by under root 29 so this minus 10 plus 10 will get cancelled that is 0 by root 29 0 by anything is 0 therefore the perpendicular distance is 0 So this is the formula to find the perpendicular distance from a point to the line. Now let us take up one more question. Find the perpendicular distance from 0, 0 to x minus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Perpendicular distance from the origin. If the point is origin 0, 0, so the distance, the perpendicular distance from origin to the line AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero. Here the perpendicular distance is mod C by under root A square plus B square. So this is the distance from origin to the line. The given line is x minus 3y minus 4. So here a value is 1, b value is minus 3. x coefficient is 1, y coefficient is minus 3. So substituting and c value is minus 4. So mod minus 4 by under root a square is 1 square, b square is minus 3 square. So this is mod 4 minus becomes plus, you can take mod less is there. 1, 3 square is 9. So this is 1 plus 9 root 10. Therefore, the perpendicular distance is 4 by root 10. Now let us take up one more. Find the distance between the following parallel lines. Find the distance between between the parallel lines
3x minus 4y is equal to 12. 3x minus 4y is equal to 7. Now, let us write the given line in standard form. That is 3x minus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. 3x minus 4y minus 7 is equal to 0. You can observe here the x term, y term are same in both the equations. Then the lines are parallel. So x and y terms are same, are equal in parallel lines. So here comparing this ax plus by plus c1 here c1 value is minus 12 so this is the general form the second line ax plus by plus c2 is the second line here the c2 value is minus 7 and the distance between these parallel lines, distance between two parallel lines, distance between two parallel lines is mod C1 minus C2 by under root A square plus B square. So here mod C1 is minus 12, C2 is minus 7, A value is 3, B value is minus 4. So X coefficient is A and Y coefficient is B. So in both the equations, a value is 3, B value is minus 4. So substituting C1, C2 and AB values, minus minus will become plus, minus 12 plus 7 by, so 3 square is 9, 4 square minus 4 square is 16. 12 minus 7 is minus 5 by this is 25 so you can take plus 5 so root of 25 is 5 that is 1 the distance between the two parallel lines is 1 Let us take down another question. Same find the distance between find the distance between five parallel lines five x minus three y minus four and ten x minus 6y minus 9. Here x, y terms are not same, but they are in proportion. So first we have to take, make both the lines, x and y terms equal. So multiplying, Two with the first line. So let us name it as first line and this as second line. I am multiplying with two. I am multiplying first line with two. So two into five, ten x. 
2 into 3, 6 y, 2 into 4, 8. And so take it as 3. And second equation, 10x minus 6y minus 9. So here x and y terms are equal. So compare them when the x and y terms are same. In, in the previous one, they are given equal. So in this, they are not equal, but they are in proportion. They are in proportion. So let us make them equal, then compare the constant. So here, x and y terms are equal. So these lines are parallel lines. Here, the first one, constant in first equation is minus 8. C2 is minus 9. So the distance between these two parallel lines, D is equal to mod C1 minus C2 by under root A square plus B square. Here, A value is 10 and B value is minus 6. So substituting the values C1 is minus 8, C2 is minus 9, under root A square 10 square, B square minus 6 square. Minus 8 plus 9 10 square is 100, 6 square minus 6 square is also plus 36, 9 minus 8 is 1, 1 by root 136. So this can be further simplified, 4 into 34. So the distance between these two parallel lines is 1 by root of 4 is 2 and 32 root 34. Let us take one more problem. Find the equation of the straight line find the equation of straight line parallel to the line parallel to the line Two x plus three y plus seven and passing through and passing through five comma four now let let the equation of the straight line which is parallel to 2x plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0 is 2x plus 3y is equal to k. So any equation, as I explained in the beginning of this class, any equation parallel to the given equation 2x plus 3y is of the form 2x plus 3y is equal to k. Now, let us name it as 1. And 
this equation is passing through 5, 4. So substituting the point 5, 4 in the equation 1, we get 2 into in place of x 5 and 3 into 4. So we get the k value. This is 2 into 5, 10, 3, 4, 12. So therefore, 22 is the k value. And resubstituting this k value in the equation 1, this is the required equation. So substituting k is equal to 22 in equation 1 above, we we'll get the required equation. So the required the required equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 22 or this can be written as 2x plus 3y minus 22 is equal to 0 is the equation parallel to the given line and passing through 5, 4 parallel to 2x plus 3y plus 7 and passing through 5, 4 is 2x plus 3y minus 22. So for the parallel lines, x and y terms are equal. Now let us take up one more. Find the equation of straight line perpendicular to the line. Find the equation of straight line which is perpendicular to the line 5x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 and passing passing through 4 comma minus 3 so then perpendicular count to e bindu gunda poye saral rekha semikarana ga pole in previous it was parallel equation now in this it is perpendicular we have to find the perpendicular equation in the previous one it was parallel equation so i explained in the big any equation perpendicular to the given line so ax plus by that is bx minus ay just interchange interchange the coefficients of x and y so let the equation, the required equation of straight line perpendicular to 5x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 is interchanging the coefficients of x and y. So y coefficients uh, comes to x and x coefficient with y. So this is 3x and 5y and change the sign in between them. Minus is there, you change it to plus and take the constant as k. So this is how we take any perpendicular equation to any given line. So interchange the x and y coefficients and change the sign between them and take the constant as k. For parallel, you take as it is x and y terms and the constant as k. For perpendicular, we interchange the x, y coefficients and change the sign between them. 
So this is how we take a perpendicular line for a given line. So let us name it as one. Since this equation passing through four comma minus three, so now substitute the point four minus three in the given equation. In equation one, we get. So since the given equation is passing through the point four minus three, so substituting this point in place of x four three into four plus five in place of y minus three is equal to k. We get k value five three ja fifteen. So fifteen minus twelve is minus three. K value is minus three. Substituting this k value in equation one, we get the required equation. Now substituting k is equal to minus three in above equation one, so we we'll get the required equation that is three x plus five y is equal to minus three or It can be written minus three can be uh, written in left side. So this is the required equation three x five y plus three is equal to zero is the required equation. So this is how we find the perpendicular equation of a given line. And the parallel equation of a given line. Now let us take up one more. Find the value of k. Find the value of k if the straight lines. If the straight lines. Kx minus 5y plus 8 is equal to zero, and 6x minus 10y plus 3 is equal to zero, or parallel. If the two samantar rectangle are there, K will be unequal. If a one x plus b one y plus c one and a two x plus b two y plus c two are parallel, then a one by a two is equal to b one by b two, or you can write it. By cross multiplying, a one b two is equal to b two b one. This is the condition for parallel lines. If two lines are parallel, then a one by a two is equal to b one by b two. The x coefficients and y coefficients should be in proportion. A one by A two and B one. The ratio of x coefficients should be equal to the ratio of y coefficients. This can be written in this also in this form also, simply by cross multiplying. So here by taking comparing this with the two equations A one here A one is k. And a two hmm, is six. So b one is minus five, and b two is minus ten. So substituting in this one or this one, a one by a two, k by six. 
b1 by b2 minus 5 by minus 10. So multiplying, cross multiplying, we get k value is equal to minus minus will get cancelled. 5 1 ja, 5 2. So here 1 by 2 into 6. So 2 1, 2 3 times. So therefore the k value is 3. So this is the condition for two lines to be parallel a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. So now let us take up one more problem. Find the value of p if the straight lines if the straight lines 3x plus 7y minus 1 is equal to 0 7x minus 3y plus 3 is equal to 0 or mutually perpendicular or mutually perpendicular if we do lumbar equal i take p value now let us take the condition if a1x plus b1y plus c1 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 are perpendicular then a1 a2 b1 b2 should be equal to 0 so this is the condition for perpendicular lines if two lines are perpendicular then a1 a2 plus b1 b2 should be equal to 0 if two lines are parallel then a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is the condition here comparing the lines a1 is 3 and b1 is 7 a2 is 7 and b2 is minus p so therefore a1 a2 3 into 7 plus b1 b2 should be equal to 0 3 into 7 21 7 into minus p is 0 and uh, taking 7 p right side 21 is equal to 7 p so 21 by 7 is equal to p that is 3 is equal to p p value is 3 therefore p value is 3. So this is how we find the p value if the lines are perpendicular. So this is the condition, perpendicular condition a1, a2 plus b1, b2 is equal to 0 and a1 by a2 plus b1 by b2 is the parallel condition. So if two lines are given if they are parallel we take uh, this condition so to prove them parallel or to find any missing value that is the parallel condition and this is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is equal to 0 is the perpendicular condition if the lines are perpendicular this is the condition by using this condition we can find the missing value whether it is p or k so this is how we find angle between two lines and the perpendicular dis distance from a given point to a given line and the distance between parallel lines and finding the parallel 
equation to a given line and perpendicular equation to a given line and also finding the k and p value if the lines are parallel and perpendicular so thank you thank you for watching this keep watching all the videos regularly then prepare your notes and try to solve the solved problems from the textbook and maintain a neat notes